Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Why don't you get on here today with some lifestyle favorites? And I have a bunch, it's some really good ones. So I'm just gonna jump right into this. And I'm gonna start with something for Thanksgiving. And I wanna get it, I wanted to get this out real fast at the first of the month so you'll have time to do it if you want to because it's so cute. I did not come up with this. I saw it on Facebook or Instagram. It's a thankful pumpkin. You just get a pumpkin and every morning, my kids are at college and out of the house, and my husband's always at work, so every morning, I get on and I do a family text, and I'm like, okay, what's everybody grateful for? This is going to be a new tradition. I love every morning saying, all right, what are we thankful for? Starts their day off great being thankful for something. It starts me out talking to my kids and my husband and pulling the family together. This is probably my biggest favorite of the entire month. I love it. And I just go around and with a Sharpie, I write, you know, their thankful thing that they're thankful for. I'm even able to include my um, son's new girlfriend. So it kind of pulls her into the family. I cannot say enough about the thankful pumpkin. This is going to be a new tradition. I love it. Okay, my next favorite is a website, a shopping website. I just use it for makeup. It's called Selfridges, and it's over in the UK. I heard about it from Penn Smith Skincare, and she was saying that she likes to order her um, luxury products from there because they're less expensive, and they are. Sometimes, you know, a couple of dollars, sometimes up to 10 to $15, I think. And I get my things in two days, three tops, even coming from the UK. And I'll tell you what I really love about it. They deliver with DHL, I think it's called, and it's little vans. And when I wake up in the morning, like at 8, 8.30, they have left it on my porch. It's their first thing in the morning. It's like a little gift and it's addictive. <laughs> and I love it. It makes luxury makeup a lot more affordable. Now you do have to pay, it's kind of like Amazon Prime. You pay one time a year, I think it's $35. I'll put it right here. And it's a one time charge and then it's free shipping. And I swear to y'all, I get my products in two to three days, usually two. Okay, next, I picked up some little tumblers for some new brushes. Y'all, I kind of went out of control this month with the brushes. And so I wanted something nice to put my brushes in. So I picked up these little tumblers. I love these so much. Just a little sparkle at the top or the bottom. These would be great for toothbrushes um, in your bathroom or cotton. They're just very attractive sitting out here on my desk and I love them. I think I paid $11 on Amazon. I'll definitely link them. I love them. Okay, my next favorite. And y'all, this is a huge love. And it has to do with the TV. We switched from Dish, which I had had for 20 years, and we switched to um, Hulu Live. And I will tell y'all, I have had Dish for 20 years, and I was very loyal to them, but we were paying right around $250 a month for all the channels and all the movie channels, which I thought, well, we're getting a lot of channels. We just switched to Hulu Live. We get a ton of channels and all the movie channels and a sports package for a hundred dollars a month you can get it as low as 40. with all our add-ons we have a ton of stars cinemax showtime um, it has everything it has lifetime all of your network channels the history channel it has every channel that we cared about except amc which has a walking dead but it is so worth it we have every channel for a hundred dollars a month and we could have gone cheaper. And it's crazy how easy that was. We just went to our Hulu account and upgraded to Hulu Live, done. And had it turned on in 15 minutes. Yeah, it is great. Okay, next, I am loving my Roku. Now, Rokus are kind of old news, but now that I have Hulu Live, it's kind of filling in some gaps. I have downloaded my radio stations. I like to listen to some Christian music. Air One, a lot of my local stations, and pretty much anything you want. My Joyce Meyer is on there. And then I also love a classics channel on there. It has stuff like um, Gunsmoke, Bonanza, I Dream of Genie, Bewitched, anything you could want. So I have, I'm not missing my dish at all. Between my Roku and my Hulu Live, I have it all. 
and I'm paying $100 a month. Okay, next, a couple of channels. The first one is Jamie French. She's great with makeup, but she's fun and funny. She always makes me laugh, and she has this little bird um, that will sit there and eat her hair <laughs> sometimes, and it cracks me up. I love Jamie French. If you don't know her, she's great for makeup, but she'll also, um, she just always lifts my mood and makes me laugh. And then another one is Kinky Sweat. Her channel is a makeup channel, but she's a fitness professional. She makes me laugh. She's just very laid back. So if you don't know Kinky Sweat or Jamie French, those are both excellent makeup channels that are very entertaining too. They kind of make me laugh and or just make me in a better mood. Okay, next, I have a candle and I got this for a gift, but I'm almost, I'm almost positive this is from Walmart and it's Cranberry Mandarin. And do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of my soft soap in mango and pomegranate infusions that I'm so obsessed with. Yep, it's that same citrusy smell in a candle. <laughs> I love this. I haven't burned it yet, but yeah, the scent is just very citrusy and lovely. I'm gonna love burning that. Okay, next, I have some things from my kitchen. I have ginger root, and what I do is I boil some water, and after it comes to a boil, I put about two heaping tablespoons of this into a cup, and then I let it steep. I put a lid on it, and I let it sit there for 10 minutes, and then I strain it and drink it with honey. And ginger root is kind of hot, and um, the honey is sweet. My sister says it's like a red hot, and it kind of is. It has a little hot bite to it, and then the honey. I think it helps with inflammation, and just generally supposed to be good for you, and it's a nice little treat at night. So I've been having a cup of this every night, and I love it. This is actually my second bag of this. I reordered, I love it. Okay, next, I think I had these on a favorites maybe when I first started my channel. These are little tea towels that I ordered on Amazon. I just reordered them. I love them. They're very absorbent and thin, kind of like a bar towel, just little tea towels. These are my favorite towel to keep in the kitchen for, you know, just drying, wiping, whatever you do with the towel. I love these little tea towels and they come in different colors and yellow is my favorite. But um, I love them, and I'll link, I'll link them down below. They're just perfect to keep around. Okay, next, a sweetener. This is called Payur, and it's an organic stevia. This is stevia mixed with erythritol. And now, I think erythritol can be hard on the gut, on your stomach, digestion. I am fine with it. So, um, but just be aware of that. And it's very sweet. It's twice as sweet as sugar, it looks like. One cup of this is two cups of sugar, and it is a very sweet. And it has a little bit of that stevia bite after it, but not bad. So I'm really liking this, and I think it's not supposed to be bad for us. So put down below what you know about erythritol. I know stevia is supposed to be good, so I really like that in my coffee. Okay, next, a drink. And this is sweetened with erythritol. It has some pure cane sugar in it, but it's got 20 calories. It's got some vitamins in it, and it's called Body Armor Peach Mango. And this is very tasty. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like peach mango. It's got electrolytes, potassium, Coconut water, vitamins, it's got a bunch of B vitamins in it. And vitamins A, C, and E. So it's really good for you. I'm gonna start drinking that more. I really like that. Okay, next, and y'all, this is so delicious, I cannot even tell you. The Pillsbury Gluten-Free Chocolate Fudge Brownies. These are so moist and delicious. I loved these so much that I got the gluten-free um, chocolate chip. And it's nice to have something around, you know? You just, you want to be able to be gluten-free and sometimes have a dessert. So, I love keeping these around. Brownies are delicious, and I bet the cookies are going to be too. Okay, next, a recipe, and I don't really know what to call this. It started out as a tortilla soup. I'll put a picture right here. It has shredded chicken, rotel tomatoes, petite tomatoes, pinto beans, a half of a block of cream cheese, but I could do a whole one, and a little bit of cream. And I like to eat that straight out of the bowl. I just put it in the bowl and um, eat that for a good low carb, high protein, moderate fat um, meal for dinner. It's great. Or I could put it over gluten-free chips. 
or eat it with gluten-free chips. Okay, I wanted to cut in and show y'all how I'm eating my leftover Mexican soup tonight. That's it, on top of sweet kale vegetable salad. It's got spinach and kale and a bunch of really, Brussels sprouts, bunch of really good stuff in it. Some carrots, and then I put some Thousand Island on it, and then I did a side of my coleslaw. I will put the recipe down below. I think it would also be good on riced cauliflower. But this is how I'm eating it tonight, and it is really, really good. I wanted to show that to y'all. Okay, next, I have some books, and I read them all on my Kindle. Okay, I'm gonna start with one of my favorites of all time, and it's The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. It is a beautiful book about World War II, but let me just say, I'm not a big World War II fan. What I loved about this is it didn't depend on just that era as a character of the book. It's about two sisters, Vianne and Isabel, and they were separated kind of young, and they have two totally different lifestyles. One is real settled down and kind of a safe personality. She's happy with her husband and her child. And Isabel is more of a wild child. And it's how they both reacted to the war and how it affected them and their family and their family history. And it is excellent. I gave it five stars. Okay, and then another book that I loved, I gave four stars to Ask Again Yes. And heard about this from Ellis for Living. And Ask Again Yes... It's by Mary Beth Keene. It was really a epic saga about two families that, you know, their lives are intertwined. They end up moving beside each other. Then you have a Romeo and Juliet type love between two kids and some tragedy that happens between the two families. And the way this description starts is, how much can a family forgive? They have, to, they have to forgive a lot in this book. Just very well written, great characters, and um, you follow the, you know, these two families in the love story of their kids. It was very good. Yeah, I gave it four. I would have given it a little over four stars. And then Daisy Jones and the Six, that was good. It probably was my least favorite out of all of these, but it was a fast, entertaining read. It follows a band and how this band got together, the relationships in the band, and I think it's loosely based on Fleetwood Mac. So um, it was really good. Some good drama in it, good characters. It's just an easy, good read. And that is all of my lifestyle favorites for this month. Y'all let me know down below anything that you're loving so that we can all pick it up and love it with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.